Well, this is interesting. So, OG Jim said he found two villages in this world in a very close together area. And I, after taking a close look at it, have concluded that he is in fact wrong. In a way that he didn't fully understand because I had to take a very close look at it and ponder it for quite a while to see the strangeness of it. See, I'm 90% sure that the first village that he is talking about is over there. Because I left a trail of torches so that I could uh, trace my path back the way I came to get to this village. And the trail of torches goes that away. Not that way. There is a village over here, but that's not the one in the first video I did. Reasonably certain OGGM saw this and just was like, oh, it's that other village, and didn't realize that it's the wrong direction. Although, it does look like a rather small, compact village. However, you know, I can't really see the whole thing. Still, though, I count at least six houses, or other buildings. Mm, looks cool. Anyway, though, but that only ups the count to three, because the first one is over there. Honestly, it's a little past the horizon. So it's like, I saw this village from the one that's over there, like, just barely. I was, like, on the edge of the village, and I was just barely able to see, like, two houses. Like, oh, there's a village over there. But I couldn't actually make out much of anything. And this village is sprawling enough that it took me a while to get a good look at it. Anyway, let's build a little here. So... What's weird about this village? It has two bells. There's a bell over here in this little uh, town uh, marketplace thing. And there's another bell over here near this well. What does this make me suggest, suspect about the village? That this is actually two different villages that uh, merged together when they spawned. Like one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, yeah, that's two different buildings. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then there's this thing I'm standing on. Fourteen. Actual like building buildings, and then there's some other stuff like a uh, a fenced in a pig pen, and some. Well, I see at least three uh, planter boxes. That's a lot of stuff. Now, I have actually seen villages that were kind of, sort of, maybe that big. But another thing to note about this village, so another thing that I didn't realize at first when I started looking at it, but then after a while, it's like, oh. If you take a look at this village, it has not like fully different themes of everything but it has two different styles of church yeah this village actually has two clerics but they're different styles of building it's like this one, which is the, you know, like, stone tower kind. But I think it's uh, one of those buildings over there. It's just a, you know, long room. It's like this one here, you know, you have, like, uh, what looks like it's proof, proof, would be a pulpit or what have you. And a rather modest area around it. I really hate that. Anyway, you go over here though. And I may not have actually counted the, all of the buildings. See, this one, you know, two long benches, I guess these are supposed to be. 
in a building that is, I don't know what this material is actually called. Oh, fine, I'll break a piece of you know what it is. Ah, terracotta. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. I have a bunch of buildings in this town that are made out of terracotta. And several that are made out of stone timber. And some that are made out of wooden timber. Hmm. Kind of weird. It's a very sprawling one, too. Which is the reason why I went up on top of the uh, uh, tower there, is uh, just to be able to get a vantage point where I could actually look at the whole thing. Oh, this is a double. Okay, so it actually has four farm plots, not three. Yeah, okay. I don't remember ever seeing um, four of them. Well, no, actually I have. Never mind. I have. It's just something that's quite rare. But yeah, it's like, uh, this is a um, village that spawned in a location that is nearly a flat plain. So, you know. The, the um, RNG was uh, free to just place things wherever it felt like and didn't have any awkward geography to deal with. Well, not much. I mean, it did have a little bit of geography. But yeah, it's like, normally towns only have one bell. And I always come to think of the bell as, you know, the town center. But here we have two of those. Although, actually, you know what? I'm going to go up on top of the uh, tower again and, and take another look because I just thought of one thing that is worth pondering. And it's not an orb. Anyway, though. So, in villages, the roads always t seem to be all always lead to the bell okay so here we have a road that goes this way okay i kind of sort of uh, made a bridge here because it fell in a hole whatever anyway i have a road that goes this way very you know straight that way uh, kind of then it goes gets out to the edge of town then loops around to there there's also this sort of large field thing. That's not a particularly expansive layout, but it's, you know, pretty good. I have another road that goes this way, has some buildings over there. One that goes this way, has a little spur going off to the side, has some buildings over there. Then you have one that goes this way and into this area here with buildings and farm plots. Sure, okay. Hang on a second. I counted the farm plots uh, wrong twice. One, two, three. That's a double behind the tree where I couldn't see it last time. There's actually five farm plots. Hmm. Well, that's nice to know. Yeah, that bubbling sound is the cleric guy uh, downstairs. Two floors up, and I can still hear him. Oh well. But, like, see, like, this area here also has roads going outward from it. So you got road going this way and road going this way. These seem to work a little bit differently than these do because these kind of like have this like arc of road go surrounding them. But these, uh, I mean, it has a s small perimeter around it, but not as large. This is a lot, just a bigger structure for the center of town, I guess. Also, the roads connect to this specific uh, pavilion, not the other two, because that's the one that has the bell in it. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, it's like, 
I'm not really not 100% sure about how, how this whole generation thing works because of the fact that in this particular case, it could just be that they randomly happen to line up neatly, but this particular village doesn't feel like one where it generated roads on top of each other. Granted, the layout is pretty ra random nonsense in terms of how it is actually laid out, but it's not duplicative random nonsense. It's like a simple iteration, which could just be coincidence. Also, one thing I just thought of is that while it does have a lot, several different kinds of buildings, they're kind of interspersed. So I'm not really sure if it actually indicates themes overlaid on top of each other or just it has a wide variety because it's not like one side of town is stone buildings and the other side is terracotta. It's a mix. Oh, well, that's something to ponder, I suppose. Not with an orb. Anyway, though. Oh, uh, well. That's it. This is an interesting town. Definitely something that I could see someone uh, working with if they're, you know, building a, t a town. Because, you know, five farmers, that's five different guys you can do some pretty easy trades with. Granted, I would um, renovate things significantly, but still, you know. Uh, and of course, we have a pig pen and a whole lot of materials that I could use to make a sheep pen and cow pen and wood timber buildings are so easy to scavenge from. So easy. Um, anyway, what else is there to say about this? Very good location, honestly. What's that? Oh, I found a broken portal. Huh, didn't notice that earlier. Well, that's something to look at or later. And this other village. I'm definitely going to go over there to see just how big it is, because it doesn't look very large from here. However, I can also tell that I can't see the whole thing. Like, I can see a faint outline of something that definitely looks like a building. So that's a rather large building, too, and it's over there and not where I was previously looking at things. Hmm. Well, that's enough for now. Time to go check that out and see what happens.